What's up everybody, it's Jet Desert Fox. Today we're playing at SS Airsoft in Sugar Hill, Georgia. The gun I'm using is the EMG SAI Blue with only one mag. In this gameplay, I'll be showing you how to shoot and move with limited resources. Now, even though this gameplay is at an indoor field, the same concepts can be applied to outdoor games and even milsim. The resources I'm referring to are CO2, BBs, and stamina. Since I only have one mag, once my CO2 goes empty, I can either call myself out or try and surrender people with my empty gun or use a rubber knife if I have one. The next resource I need to be monitoring are my BBs. In my magazine, I have 25 shots. This may sound like a lot, but if you're not being careful and precise with your shooting, they will go fast. Lastly, you need to be aware of your own stamina. Constantly running from cover to cover or from the front back to respawn can get tiresome very quickly. This is especially true if you don't exercise regularly. Movement from cover to cover should be fast and at your advantage. Right there, I've already wasted three BBs on an enemy I could barely see. The BBs hitting the camo net lets me know enemies are to my left. I'm going to take a fast peek through that hole, then after seeing where the enemies are, maybe re-peek it with my gun. Double kill! Now that I've fired off several shots, I'm going to check my magazine. There's about 5 BBs left in this mag, so I'm going to have to reload out of necessity. Normally you would want a teammate to cover you while you would do this. This reload time can also be used to catch your breath or drink some water. Two kills and not a BB or CO2 wasted. What? Oh. <laughs> That death was my fault for not moving once that enemy saw my position. <laughs> Obviously, if I needed to, I would reload, take a breather, or drink water back at respawn. Let's 
Oh, that's like, oh, no, wait. I can't tell who the f is who. I know. Even as hell. You got me, got me. Coming out. Despite all the preparation and practice, sometimes you just get got by the enemy. It happens to the best of us, and all you can do is learn from your mistakes. Hey, don't do that in here. Don't do what? Don't take your goggles off for whatever reason, man. Like, imagine all the most unsafe people in an arena where, where projectiles can bounce around. D don't ever take it off in here. If you can't already tell by the lack of me hiding behind cover, most of the enemy team has left or is leaving the field. That's the cheap. Three, two, I absolutely hate when live players hide behind dead players in game. It's confusing and frustrating for new players who are still learning how to play. It's also unsportsmanlike and ruins the fun for the players they eliminate. Hopefully you've learned a few things from this video. Let me know what tips or tactics you'd like to learn more about in the comments below. As always, this is Jet Desert Fox, and I'll see you on the field. After putting in a brand new CO2 cartridge, the magazine stopped leaking. Walk back to the rear. This is still the same CO2 cartridge. <laughs> 